Hi, I'm Mark Frazier. Exploring wildlife right in our own backyard is the best way to learn to appreciate them and therefore protect them. You're invited to join me on the exciting wildlife adventures. Welcome to Nature Walks. One of my favorite ways to look for wildlife has to be by flatwater kayaking. It's a fantastic opportunity to find the many different species like this eastern painted turtle who's climbed up on a log and is basking in the sun. Now here's a common merganser. This is a beautiful female who takes one quick stretch before diving in and looking for fish. They've evolved to be excellent survivors in these aquatic habitats. They'll swim along looking at the flat water and every now and then they'll gaze down to see if there's any fish below them. spot what looks like a den. There's a slide from the den into the water and there's plenty of these freshwater clams that have recently been eaten. So this is probably a place where either otters or mink are hanging out. I see a lot of signs of both along this water. On the bank, I spot what looks like white little insects. Closer observation tells a different story. This is actually the molted skin of a larva to a dragonfly. They have an aquatic phase where they live under the water as little hunters. Then they crawl up onto a bank like this, molting their original skin, and turn into the dragonflies that we all know and love. I can spot what's either an otter or a muskrat just ahead of me, but he keeps turning the corner before I get there. I do see this beautiful beaver lodge as I get around the next corner. Clean river systems like this are meccas for wildlife. They're somewhere we really need to protect and do our part to ensure that there's beautiful rivers like this in the future. This family of Canada Goose didn't expect to see anybody in a kayak coming around the corner, I'm sure. The Canada Goose are famous migrators, taking advantage of the southern areas during the winter time and coming back to the beautiful north in the summer. If the young chicks are separated from the parent, they have an escape method. <laughs> they can go underwater. There's some amazing pines on the side. Some of these rivers have something beside them called an esker. That's where a glacier actually pushed the soil up and creates a large finger of land. And many times the trees there aren't logged or harvested by timber companies because they're not easy to get to. It's an amazing place to see old growth forests. The wildflowers are just starting to bloom. It's late into May. It's a beautiful breeze on the water. That's helping me a lot because if it wasn't windy like this, the black flies would be tearing me up. A sure sign of spring. It's an entire family of the hooded mergansers, different than the common mergansers we saw earlier. They're beautiful little chicks and actually fantastic swimmers even at this young age. I'm actually getting a little concerned that I don't see the parent bird. The chicks have a lot to worry about. Everything from birds of prey to snapping turtles, there's tons of things that would certainly munch on them. So the hooded mergenson mother has to certainly keep her sharp eye out. She's actually evolved the amazing ability to act like she has a broken wing to lure you away from the babies. And here she goes. Even the chicks get into the act, but they're not going very fast. If need be, they actually are great swimmers underwater and that's most likely what they'll do if I was too close. I think they're just kind of trying to get a little bit more distance between my kayak and them.
Her broken wing trick is aroused. The idea is to make me think that she's wounded, so I chase her, and she'll do that with any would-be predator. Well, I decided I'd better keep my distance. I don't want to spook them too much, so I just kind of waited and let them swim off. I reached an area with a lot more open water, and I could hear the beautiful call of loons in the distance. At the water's edge along the alder brush is this beautiful white-tailed deer with its orange summer coat. If they're nervous, they'll raise that gorgeous white tail and use that to confuse predators and also alert other deer of danger. The scene is absolutely surreal. The incredible thing about wildlife is the closer you look, the more you find. Thank you so much for joining me on this nature walk. I'm Mark Frazier and I'll see you again very soon.